Thousands of years before the history books began, the Aztec Indians of Central and South America discovered and cultivated a plant they called maize. It was grown for food. This is not that story. Since the time of that first harvest, the staple crop, now called corn, has dominated man's eating habits. Corn, kissed by the sun, ripened by warm winds and fertile soil, has changed, like the history of mankind itself, into a space-age phenomenon. A crop whose uses multiply so fast they have never accurately been counted. From the large corn kernel comes the cornstarch industry. 1,800 feet above the ground. Bulk starch and glucose from the king of grains is in the gypsum wallboard, the aluminum and leather of the furniture, rugs, latex paint, the paper on the desks, the asbestos and insulation, and everything on wheels in fittings and trim, tires, spark plugs, insulators, cylinder heads, synthetic rubber finishes, tanks full of gasoline. Yes, everything on wheels. Even the excess fibers and gluten not needed for starch or glucose products are used for animal feed. The washing mixture, called steep water, forms a base for the manufacture of antibiotics. Part of the corn germ is siphoned off to make oil for the manufacture of other pharmaceuticals. The steeped corn, with impurities removed, is swiftly transformed into bulk starches and sugars for multiple use. Starch milk or slurry. The technology of space age corn, converted and dried to create more than 40 different types of starch, as well as glucose. It is these starches and glucose that ultimately become a central part of every minute of our daily lives. With sophisticated technology, corn has come out of the cereal bowl and taken over the whole shopping list. Of the 10,000 items found in most major supermarkets, more than 2,500 have some form of corn as an ingredient. Toothpastes, lotions, shaving creams, candies, salad dressings, frozen foods, instant coffees, yogurts, dessert powders, cheese spreads, canned vegetables, wheat breads, margarine, baby foods, paper plates and cups. Even the ink used to stamp on the price. All from corn. Oil pressed from the corn germ, light, bland, odorless. For cooking, cleaning, life-saving drugs, oil from the corn germ. The heart of the crop.
Corn is dynamite in other ways, too, making up 3 to 10 percent of all explosive compounds. Once food for the Aztecs, today the lifeline of the hospital. Penicillin, oreomycin, antibiotics, life-sustaining intravenous. Another step towards the outer limits. Yet corn is never far from its natural origins. The fibers and glutens, not required for building or light manufacturing work, or for foodstuffs and drugs, nonetheless vital. Husks and hulls and otherwise unusable solids are turned into animal feed. Poultry to pork chops, turkey to T-bone steaks. It's a long way from the crop to the cattle to the consumer. And corn has been there every step of the way. This basic foodstuff, once pounded by ancient Indian stones, now supplies the raw material for some of mankind's most advanced and forward-looking products. When will corn's outer limits truly be reached? Today, an integral part of more than 6,000 items. The outer limits, possibly still uncharted 5,000 years from now. Glass, steel, cotton clothing.